Hola peeps, it's me, Rich A1 Mallorca. I'm back. So, <clears throat> it is 4.30 on the afternoon of February 3rd, a Saturday, 2018 now. First film of the year. Yeah, I've been away for a while. So uh, I thought I'd better get back to it. Heading for a place called Escornadors, which I've been to before, which has appeared in one of my videos. Yep, we've had some snow. Uh, and uh, not where I'm going though, unfortunately. Hopefully tonight we do some uh, rain tomorrow and it's properly cold at the moment. So um, fingers crossed. So yeah, staying in a refugee tonight. Again, fingers crossed. If no one else is there, anyway. Um, yeah, gonna do answer seven questions, which was put to me by uh, Steve, I think it was, at Sea Veg, um, Crafty Veggie. He he uh, asked me the seven questions uh, like nine months ago, and I'm just getting round to answering him, so. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, and uh, also just fill you in a little bit on what's been happening. Um, so yeah, welcome along. First off, I should probably apologise for the uh, shakier than normal video. <coughs> it's uh, it's all on the iPhone. This one. Um, last time I went out, the GoPro lens rubbed up against something in the truck and uh, has scratched it. I think I can sort it out, but a little bit of toothpaste or something. But for now, it's uh, inoperable. So I guess I'll start with a very, very quick explanation of uh, my absence on YouTube for the past nine months. So basically, nine months ago, uh, me and my missus, who you've seen on a couple of videos, I think, um, we uh, split up. So I uh, haven't really been in the mood to do anything, uh, camping-wise and stuff like that anyway. But yeah, it was actually the night that uh, Steve at Sea Veggie, um, Crafty Veggie, he, uh, he nominated me for the seven questions. So, apologies, Steve. Right, so let's get into the seven questions then. Uh, question one. <clears throat> How or no, why did you get into YouTube? So uh, I was a latecomer to the party, even watching YouTube, let alone 
uploading stuff and having a channel. Um, but uh, I used to watch a lot of wild camping videos and things like that and it inspired me to get out wild camping and I thought I enjoy watching other people's so maybe someone might get a kick out of watching mine. It's also been a great boost for my confidence out in the middle of nowhere talking to myself <laughs> and then uh, uploading results for you guys to watch at watch at watch look at whichever Question two, with a view. Uh, not intentional, just happened to be where I stopped. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube? I think I've had the channel open for like three and a half years, um, but actually really only been uploading videos seriously for two. Yeah, that's been good so far, really cool. So, question three, how did you come up with your name? So, it's A-W-O-L Mallorca, or you've probably heard it before, AWOL, uh, as in absence without official leave. I think it's a military term, I guess it must be. Um, I used to have a habit of going off and not telling anybody where I was going and a couple of times it almost got me in a bit of shtick stuck in snow and stuff like that so always make sure at least one person knows where you're going roughly how long you're going to be and uh, when you're going to contact them next to say you're okay um, which I have done today a couple of people know where I'm going today a few people so uh, yeah fingers crossed if I do break my leg someone will come and save me <laughs> like I always say always close the gate behind you so Question four and five are fairly similar, along the same lines. Um, pretty self-explanatory if you're watching this video or any of my other videos. Uh, question four is, do you use thumbnails? Well, yes. Um, I uh, take a screen grab of what I deem to be a nice bit of the video. Me sat next to a river or nice view or something such as this view which is gorgeous um, and then just put a bit of writing on it that explains what the video is about uh, I think you've got a better chance of attracting people uh, to your, your uh, channel and to want to watch your videos um, if they see it pop up and they know instantly what it's about uh, whereas just get those random thumbnails that YouTube generates and they don't really tell the story very well or at all in a lot of cases so yep and five was do you use intros and outros well you already know that if you're watching this uh, yeah I've got my little stick man video um, at the beginning and uh, every so often he changes up and like for the GR221 he had a friend and stuff so um, I have a background in advertising and design and stuff like that so just fancy having a play with um, is it stop frame animation I can't think what it's called that doesn't sound right but yeah I just fancy having a toy around with that so you know it took me quite a while to do the first one um, 
but uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. And no, I don't use an outro. So that was questions four and five. Question number six. What camera do you use? Like I say to today, I'm using the iPhone. iPhone 6S, I think. Um, but normally, hang on a minute, it's too good to miss. Look at that. Stunning. Me, not that rubbish. <laughs> um, normally I use uh, my Sony NEX5N with a 55-200 lens on it and um, along with my GoPro which is only a, it's a GoPro Hero 3 Black so it's done me well it's had a good few knocks um, the NEX5 I didn't bring with me because it was a bit heavy for this little trip and also uh, the lens could seriously do with the service it's full of dust and dirt and stuff and uh, when I was on my West Highland Way trip there's a point in that video where I'm sat on uh, beach chairs having food from an honesty box I got up to move the GoPro and the NEX fell off the chair and uh, smashed the 200 euro um, viewfinder which is like an LC mini LCD screen so yeah that's not with me at the moment so I can afford to get it all fixed so finally question number seven a bit of a weird one this one and I think Steve said the same thing um, when will you quit YouTube like, well how long's a piece of string? You know what I mean? Um, I don't think anybody can tell you when they're going to quit YouTube. As long as I enjoy looking at these views, I'll probably carry on doing YouTube. Um, if anything, I guess it'll evolve. Uh, Hopefully, at the beginning of this video, you've seen some climbing that we did today. Uh, getting into that, so my first time leading today. So that's cool. You know, things like that, so stuff like that will crop up. I want to do more caving as well, because that was, that was awesome. Um, I'm getting into cycling again and the running. So I want to try and get into maybe ultra marathons. Also, hoping to get up there in time for the sunset, but uh, it's now half past five. Got a little bit of climbing left, but fingers crossed I'll make it. So yeah, hope that answers uh, answers the seven questions. To your satisfaction, everybody. And you could hear everything because of the wind. There it is folks, just a quick video now, 
And then I'm gonna put the camera on time lapse. And uh, watch my sun go down. So, this is it folks. I think it might have to wait until morning for me to properly show you around. Yeah, it's blowing like hell outside. Um, not the worst I've experienced up here, but yeah, pretty pretty harsh. It is, you, know, you might be able to see my breath actually. It is probably about two or three degrees inside, um, outside in that wind. It's gotta be like minus, Five, between minus five and ten I reckon it is bitter out there so um, if it rains like they say it's going to tonight I'm almost certain I'll wake up to snow tomorrow morning so that'd be pretty cool it's um yeah I'm gonna get myself uh, gonna get myself some couscous on and um, yeah not if anything exciting happens or I think of something interesting, um, then I shall uh, let you all know. But for now, laters. Adiós. Adiós. Morning folks. So that was a bit of a random evening. Um I was literally just about to uh nod off at about half past eight. And um, all these, all this noise and lights outside the hut, and uh, three guys had just walked up from Soyer. Um, <laughs> they uh, they were huffing and puffing quite good, and sweating like you wouldn't believe. Even though it's yeah, it must have dropped to in that wind probably minus five, between minus five and minus ten last night. It was. It was cold. It, I got up this morning, checked the thermometer first thing, and with four of us in the hut and them having made a fire last night, it was four degrees. So it was cold. But uh, yeah, anyway, so they came in. Um, they had uh, nine, like 90 litre backpacks, huge backpacks, but like sort of Cathlon Ohm stuff. Um, <laughs> they had they had everything, including the kitchen sink, a liter of milk for breakfast, cornflakes. They had a whole packet of cornflakes for this morning. Um, they bought up logs for the fire. Um, oh, I can't. Remember. They had like steaks and just so much stuff came out of these packs. It was unbelievable. Must have been absolute hell carrying it all up last night in the dark as well. I mean, it's not an easy, not an easy route to follow at the best of times. So they did well, but um, yeah, I bet they wish hadn't, they hadn't bought so much stuff with them. But yeah, it was good. Had a, I was literally just about to nod off as they walked in, so I had a little chat with them and stuff, and then um, just curled up in my sleeping bag and listened to them chatting away. Um, Took them quite a while to get a fire going, so I don't think they've done that before. Um, but uh, yeah, it seemed like a good bunch of lads, and uh, yeah, at least they're getting out and enjoying all of this. So, um, as you can probably tell, though, um, there was no rain last night, and because of which. There is no snow this morning, so I'm a bit disappointed. Um, and the snow that was up here, um, well not here, but um, 
on the mountains is uh, going quite rapidly, so. Um, yeah, a bit of a shame. So there's still some left on the mountains over there. You can see Puch Mayor in the background. And then here is Puch Migdia, which um, that's where I stayed the other day and got soaking wet and scratched the lens on the GoPro. I actually did the whole seven questions thing then as well. So it's going to be quite a nice video, but I'll see about editing it and having a look through the footage if it's worth it. But yeah. So, onward now, down into, uh, back to Sawyer and back to the truck. I just realized it was one week and a year ago today, um, yesterday, sorry, Saturday, uh, that I came up the same route and stayed up on Col de Gats for the night. And um, I think that was it. Yeah, and I think it absolutely poured with rain. Um, yeah, it was uh, yeah, it was horrendous weather. It was lost. Yeah, um, and uh, I went up uh, Lofra, Puch Lofra. Um, there it is. So yeah, still in the shadow of the mountains. So something I'm curious about is um, if you've watched my West Highland Way video, then you'll notice it was it's the longest video I've done at about an hour and a half. Um, and I did it as one video because I personally like sitting down and you know watching a um, a trip that someone's done in normally in one hit or if I haven't got the time. I'll just pause it in between days or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering about you guys, what what everybody else thinks. So yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Um, one long movie or break it down into days. Um, I mean, uh, some of the days, I mean, I, could, I think that's probably like 15 minutes of um, video. And then one day, Tindrum to um, the, uh, I think it was the Glencoe Ski Resort. It was pouring rain all day. Didn't get a chance to get the camera out. It was just rushing through it. So there was only like five minutes. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I say, I personally prefer the longer video. And I can pause it when I want, if I want to go and get a cup of tea or whatever. Or, you know, you've got to go out, just find an find a nice place to pause it and then you've got something to come back to later or is it better to release it over like the period of a week thoughts below please
so like I say we've had a bit of snow um, not a lot but this is it coming down off the mountains now it's not quite as spectacular as my video from the same time last year had a absolute downpour between Christmas of 2016 and the end of January last year and um, it was raging down through these torrents, it was amazing, but still beautiful nonetheless. So I've decided to go back a different route. Um, normally I just walk back down the same way I came up because I like doing the walkaway shots over the bridges and stuff and especially with the water run it's nice. Um, but today uh, I've chosen another route which kind of runs uh, parallel to it um, and actually comes out not on the same path but not too far down to be fair um, so uh, yeah the uh, probably can't see it it's down in here somewhere that's where the path goes that I went up and then up there and just see it there as well all the way up through there But yeah, I thought fancy a change, see what it's all about. There's not too much water running down through, like I say, so it's not that spectacular today. But um, yeah, Let's see what's down this trail. This trail must descend pretty hard at some point. Um, so I've just gone up about probably 50 meters, um, and the uh, the GR221, which is a trail that I took up, is right down in the uh, gorge. So uh, I think the, the knees are going to take a bit of punishment on the way down off of this. <laughs> but uh, oh, spectacular up here. It's beautiful. We're still like way up in the hills, <clears throat> as you can see. Beautiful, stunning. So hopefully you can see that. See a few people down there. That's the, the trail I came up on. It's not as busy as I thought it was going to be. But this trail's so much quieter. It's nice. But like I say, this one, we must be 100 meters above it, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's, it's dropping quite steeply. This is heavily terraced on this side, make out a few of them there. So, yeah, it's a workout for the knees, but like I say, it's a more peaceful return to Sawyer. I like this path, it's nice, 
although it is a bit of an ankle breaker. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it in that previous bit of footage, but it's very lumpy. So even on this side, you can get the, uh, the big groups and uh, yeah, they can be extremely ignorant. Um, don't even think about you know, letting you pass or giving you enough room to get by on the path. Um, if it's wide enough to get two, you know, two people side by side, but they think it's two people for them side by side and you have to wait. <laughs> So yeah, you get more of that on the other side though, so that's why I'm here. Keep away from that sort. <laughs> that ladies and gentlemen how you get your shopping up to your little uh, your little house in the gorge that has no roads. Get yourself a little tank. <laughs> So, that's pretty much it. Almost back into town now. Um, well, the village of Binalach, I believe it's called, where I parked the truck. Um, yeah, it was a nice night. Uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep, because uh, the guys in the Fuji were, um, they were trying to be quiet, bless them, but it didn't really work. They didn't, uh, they were still cooking at like half 11 midnight. Um, and then one of them had a, one of those mylar blankets on him all night. So every time he rolled over it, <coughs> crazy noise. And then um, the guy next to me snoring most of the night as well. So uh, it's a shame. I'd like to do it again but with maybe a couple of mates. Um, that'd be good. So, all that's left to say is uh, thanks for watching and uh, hasta luego.